Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Eric's Today I'm going to be reviewing another card that, when I first saw it, it was actually at my friend's place, and uh, one of my buddies showed me, he goes, whoa, look at this. He just, like, it's surprising. It's rather surprising to me. Uh, today's card is Providence. Five white, white sorcery. You may reveal this card from your opening hand if you do at the beginning of the first upkeep. Your life total becomes 26. Your life total becomes 26. That's that's how the card is re read. I'm not being... It's just... Moving on. This card I find rather interesting. And we all agreed when we first... When he first read it and we first started discussing it, we all agreed this slows down Burn. Because Burn has always been race to 20. It's always been straight to 20. How fast can I hit you for 20? Now, with Providence... You got to hit for 26 if if it was in your opening hand. Does that mean you're going to mulligan to try to get in your opening hand? I don't know about that. That's a real tough question. Obviously, if you're playing against red deck wins, it is called that because it just it's red deck wins. It races to 20 as quick as possible. It runs out of gas super fast after that. It races to 20. Some 22, 23, but very rarely do you see them go so well, so consistently, where they can do 26 over and over and over again. Is this is this a main deck card? No. I would never main deck this. I would sideboard two or three, and if I'm playing against a burn deck, you bet your ass I'll add them in there. All three. If I got three in there, I'm adding all three. Will it kind of clog up your hand? Yes, it could, but if you can live long enough to get seven land, well, then, you know, they got you down to, say, I don't know, four? You can just hard cast and go back to 26. It is just super anti-red deck wins, and that's what I like about it. That's what we all liked about it, but we don't ever really face decks like that, so eh, it's kind of tough to say. We all agree why it's there. Uh, 26 kind of stumped me as to why it would bump you up to 26 life. But one of my buddies pointed out, well, it's double 13. And 13 is kind of a theme in Innistrad. And I was like, okay, I can see that. Triskaidekaphobia. I could totally see 13 being a theme. I mean, guys, go look at the art on Triskaidekaphobia. It's ridiculous how many things there are 13 of on that thing. It's like the rafters, the the utensils on the wall. I believe they're just pots and pans and, and spoons and stuff. Uh, there are rocks around the fireplace, I believe, or 13 of. I don't have the picture here. It's just ridiculous. Go look at the art. Just just do it. Google the art and find a picture where it points them all out. You'll be amazed. I know I was. But the 26 makes sense because it's double the 13, and that's kind of a theme in Innistrad, he says. So I'll have to go with him on that because Triskaidekaphobia is the only thing I have to reference on it. But aside from that... It's kind of a tough one because if you're white, you can cast it. If your deck is not white, well, do you still board it in? If you are, say, black-red and you're facing a red deck, uh, um, red deck wins or mono burn, do you have it in your sideboard? That's where it becomes a little tricky, I think. And I can't really answer that because I believe it comes down to personal preference. If you have a hard time with this, we'll say... We'll say red black. Jund is pretty common um, in modern, and uh, I feel like a lot of people try to do it in standard too. At least I'm seeing a lot of Jund lately. I don't think you'll play Providence in those because it's triple color. Your sideboard's going to be packed full of cards, and this doesn't really go with the theme. Obviously, it doesn't go with the theme of Jund. That's why it's not any of the colors. But some people might still want to board it. I, I don't think I would. Red, black, or black, green? Red, green? Maybe, because those are two colored decks. And so your sideboard doesn't have nearly as many options. Jund, nah. Grixis, blue, black, red? Uh, I don't know. My main point is, non-white decks, do they board it or not? If your meta, your local game store, is very heavy on the red deck wins players... Yes. If you're a little worried about running into one or two that night, I would say no. Because if you're playing modern, most of the time I think you're going to see, you're going to do four rounds, you'll see one, maybe two. I don't think it'll be worth the slot in the sideboard. I'm rambling on a little long today. I'll just get through the numbers real quick for you guys. Draft a 3.5 because I feel like uh, 
opening hand or not, if you're getting worn down, you can just play this late game. It's not hard to get seven mana in draft, uh, in a game of draft, and uh, you can totally get your 26 life back and kind of wear down the opponent. It's going to be very hard. Let's say they got you down to three. Well, that means they got to take you down to tw- down from 26 again. That's 43 damage in total. So a little ridiculous. Not many draft decks, I think, could do that. Some, yes, I'm not going to say all, but some, a little tougher. Uh, standard of three, I don't know how I feel about it in standard. I'm going to have to wait and see. I'm not I'm not really going to assume anything. I play Bant Collected Company. Will I have a few on the board? I just might. Might. I'm not going to say yes yet. We'll wait and see. I don't see a lot of decks that are very fast, so... I don't feel concerned because Band Collector Company is tempo, and so I usually am okay with it. The only deck that outruns me right now that I have a problem with at my local game store is this one guy who plays green-white tokens, and it beats me in speed almost every time. Like 80% of the time, he's faster than me. Modern, that's where it gets a lot more tricky. I'm going to say 2.5 because red deck wins and burn, I'm sure, are a lot more common in modern. Uh, I don't play modern, but I do talk to some people who do play modern, they feel like, yes, you do want to have a couple of these in the board. But if you don't see a lot of them in your local game store, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. If you see them frequently, like, say, one out of every four, that's kind of a lot. You know, so board in two or three. Uh, EDH a one. You start with 40. This, I mean, eh, you, you can't even target the opponent with it. It just says your life total becomes 26. Y- you, that will lower you or it won't be much of an increase. So don't bother an EDH. That's what I'd say about Providence. Thank you for sticking with me. This one's a longer one because I rambled a bit. I'm sorry about it. I'll try not to ramble too much. I usually try not to, but that's what I have to say. You got a different opinion? Let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time.